guys, got home from work today and there's a big box on my front porch. And I dumped it out and I got a huge pile of locks from Stewie Wonder. Almost all of these are marked uh, U.S., which would indicate that they're from a U.S. facility. Some of them have hardware with Edison. I don't even know what this thing is for. Uh, some of them have the chains that you find on government locks. We've got a variety of different manufacturers. Um, the one that I kind of jumps at me is the American lock. This is the newer American, made just for the government. Uh, these, they, uh, you know, Master Lock did buy out American. They kind of cheaped out on these. These have five pin cores, and I thought I saw another one here. So well, here we go. This is the traditional one that we're used to. This one can, is a little bit longer. First of all, when you hold it up there, you know, it's just a little bit longer, and that's because this one comes with a six pin core, and this one only comes with a five pin core. And one of the chambers on this one has the bump stop pin in it. So not a real, not a real big challenge to get into these. These sometimes are a different story. Five, uh, six pin uh, core, but a lot of times they only pin them up with five pins. So let's start with this one. This is, uh, yeah, I think we can, when we pick this, you'll know it. This will pop out, or maybe this side will pop. One of the sides will pop out, and the other one will just extend itself. So let me move all this junk out of the way, and we'll start with this American. All right, guys, I don't know how long these have been outside or in storage, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to put some Houdini inside of here. This is sent in by Sky a while back, and I love this stuff. Smells like lemon. Give it a little shot. And let me get a rake and rake some of that stuff in. That'll be good. All right, now we know those pins work. Let's use top of the keyway. It got a little excess on there. There we go. I'm going to start with, I get a 15,000. This is from the Praxis kit. It's the medium hook, and it is 15,000 thick with a shrink wrap handle. I'm going to move this around a little bit and zoom in so you guys can see. Hopefully we get some feedback. All right, all the way in, very light tension. We know Americans usually have uh, serrated pins, at least spools in there. Up on pin five, I got a click. Pin four, I got a click. Okay, I've got a deep fault set now. That was pin three. Let me go back and see if I can find someone with deep fault set indicates there's a spool hung up. If I can find him, we'll get this thing picked. No. Nope. Trying to get up behind my tension wrench there. I think we're getting, there we go. I thought I was on the tension wrench and getting feedback from it, but I actually think that's pin number one. We're getting counter rotation from that spool. If I can do it without breaking my pick, that would be a good thing. Okay, I think we got him. Oop. Try to do it with the tension wrench still in, Bill. There we go. All right. Pretty powerful spring on these guys. And there you can see it's open, and that little guy should pop out. One of these ought to pop out. Oh, if I turn it all the way, perhaps. There we go. I knew he had to come out. Rusted in place. All right, let's go ahead and grab one of these locks and see if we can get another one of those brands open. Get this chain undone from here. Well, guys, this is one of the few locks that actually has an intact shackle. Missing the chain, but uh, it's a federal... Come on, focus. A federal lock company. Looks like a model 100G wide open keyway. Riveted closed. Let's see if we can get this bad boy open. Before we do, I'm going to give it a shot of Houdini. It does look a little screwed up there. Let me rake that in real quick. All right. Um, let's try top of the keyway. Got some slop to it. Come on. There we go. All right, all the way in. Light tension. I don't think I've ever picked a Federal before, so I'm looking for a binder. Feels like pin one. Why are they always right behind the tension wrench? Okay, I got a little click off of him. Doesn't appear to be any kind of security pin. Three. Got a 
click off of him. That was three again. So maybe we do have security pins in here. And then again, maybe not. I got no counter rotation, nothing on this Federal. Not, Im not impressed. Oop, zoom out, Bill. Zoom out, zoom out, zoom out. Away. There we go. All right, this is too much fun. Let me grab another one of these guys. I'm on a roll. All right, fellas, the last one is going to be this sad little guy. He has been through the ringer. Uh, again, it's a pack lock, 100G. Same number as the Federal. Um, they cut both sides of his little shackle off. But let's see if we can get inside here. Let's first give it a little insurance. All right. See what we got. All right, same pick, medium hook. Counting five pins uh, from the Praxis kit. You guys get tired of hearing that? And I'll try top the keyway again. Let's see if the red one will fit in there. How about the white one? That ought to work. Alrighty. All the way in, light tension. I have picked these pack locks before. Um, in fact, they went through uh, one lot. They actually put a mixture of spools and serrated, and I think this might be one of them. I just touched pin five, got a little turn on the core there. I don't know if you saw that. A little counter rotation there on three. I think I lost the fault set though. There it is, five again. So I think we got serrated and spools in this little guy. Okay, we're on another spool. That was two. That's one. Got a deep fault set now, so we're stuck on a spool somewhere. And it feels like pin five. Got a little counter rotation there. I'm just trying to position the pick a little better. Come on. All right, I got, a, got him. Lost a little bit of a fault set, though. Pin one again. Come on. And here we go. Yeah, a little piece of the shackle fell out the other side. All right, there we go. We picked through one of each of every brand in here. Uh, Stewie Wonder, thank you for all the locks. You're going to keep me busy, and they're also going to let me send out some pretty nice beginner kits for, people, for guys who need the help. Anyway, fellas, thanks for your time. Stay safe. Stay legal.